Hi guys. Hi everybody. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. How was your weekend? It was fine. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about the others? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. It was great. Thank you. Kind of busy, but everything was great. Oh. And your weekend? Uh, same, same. Very busy, but it was great. <laughs> yeah. We are like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was, it was nice. At least, I mean, uh, sometimes weekends are short. This weekend was short for me because uh, I had lots of things to do. But at least um, I got a change of, you know, of, of, of a routine. So that's that's nice. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Yes, we have a new week to do many things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, my, my week, my normal week from Monday to Friday is very hectic. So it's nice to have that, that break in between. All right. What about the other guys? Everybody, how you... How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, my, my weekend was like chill and relaxed, kind of rainy days. And yeah, staying at home. Yeah, yeah, yesterday was super rainy. Yeah. Almost all, all the day, but yeah, that was cool. Staying yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, it was. Actually, I I had a, a I had a terrible experience with that because um, I I was in the supermarket uh, buying some things and I didn't bring my umbrella with me, so it was really bad because I was actually I went by by um, was, uh, by foot right. I was on foot. And, um, you know, I had to walk back under the rain. So that was very bad. But, you know, that happens. <laughs> that happened, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, how about the rest of you? How are you? Can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. We hear you. Okay. Good, good, good. So how was your weekend? Good weekend? It's quite fine. Yeah? Thank you. Good, good, good. good. A little busy, but it was fun. Okay, okay, good. Uh, how about next weekend? Are you guys gonna have, because uh, I know that on Monday, um, there is the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Day of the Dead. Uh, so, are you guys gonna have like a what the, like a bridge? You guys are gonna have one of those? And at work, or are you gonna be working also on Monday? Huh? So anybody's gonna have no. like a bridge, and, or are you gonna also work on your, or do you have to work on Monday, or or what are you gonna do? There will be classes on Monday? Um, that's actually a very good question. And to be honest, I don't have the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so I will have to find out for you, okay? But, but it's a holiday, have... right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a holiday. And um, in theory, we shouldn't. Uh, but, but let me find yeah. out. Because yeah. I, I, I really don't have the answer. I actually, to be very honest, I, it just occurred to me right now in this moment that I was like, oh, you know, what, are we going to have like a, you know, are we going to make up the class or what, what, what's going to happen? So let me find out for you because I really don't have the answer and okay. I don't want to tell you something that is not true. So uh, first, let me find out and then I'll touch it. I'll tell you, you know, hopefully I'll have an answer by tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, well, guys, um, first of all, thank you guys for connecting. Um, let me see how many people do we have here. 
Okay. We, have, we don't have that many people. Um, maybe they're still connecting. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, uh, how are you guys doing with the platform? I want to know, uh, are you all finished uh, section three? Yes. I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you all finish the midterm? No, oh, yeah, had to do it. Not yet, Tessie. Yeah, we finished the midterm. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. So remember what I told you. Um, you should be finishing the midterm uh, between today and tomorrow would be probably the best thing yes, to do. Yes, we remember. Right? Yeah. Um, any questions about the midterm for the people that are have been doing it the midterm? Questions? No question at all. No? Okay, because remember that the idea here is for me to help you, right? So if you guys um, are having problems with that something, this is the moment to ask, right? So anything I can help you with? Not for me, teacher, thank you. For me, no, because I, don't start it. Oh, you haven't started yet. Okay. Okay. All right. So basically, um, it, if we, you know, we have seen, we have covered all of the, the areas that you need to know. Uh, in the in the midterm, you will see like um, gerunds. Uh, there will be a part uh, where they are comparing. Uh, when you are comparing, like you know, something is more than the other or if it's the same okay you also saw the ones that are the same um or if it's less uh there's also making requests and speaking about making requests um everybody have you all seen um the the powerpoint that i sent in the group Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. I because I sent the power the power the PowerPoint that uh, that um, we saw in the class. I sent it um, to the group. So if you guys are wondering a little bit about that, you can look at the group. Okay. Um, now, remember I told you that I was going to uh, where I was going to show you the uh, the last part uh, today, right? So. We're going to go over that information. I already showed it, like I already sent it to you guys, and you should probably be able to, to do that. But um, it just in case, um, let's see if I have it here. Hmm. It's hiding somewhere. Where did I put it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I found it here. Okay, so like I said, uh, we saw pretty much everything, uh, but at the very end, um, we didn't have very much chance to um, to look at the last one, so. Uh, what I'll do is go over that information as well. Okay. Um, okay. And, and it's so every everybody's okay with the the midterm, the midterm exam. Anything that is not very clear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Let me just open up here the the uh, PowerPoint for the indirect requests. Remember, indirect requests is when you are asking uh, someone to tell another person um, something. So basically, uh, that message is for another person that you're leaving it with the person for, or sorry, the, the, the request is for another person and you're leaving the message 
for that per with another person to give it to them. That would be the indirect request. Okay. All right. Let's just a little bit of time to open up. Okay, it's almost, almost ready. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing right now. Let me know when you can see my PowerPoint. Presentation. Just let me know when you can see it. Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now we can see now. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay. Let's... Okay, so I'm, I'm sure you can see the screen, but you can't see what's on the screen because it hasn't loaded. Okay, there it is. Okay. So the, the last one that I was explaining about was uh, when we have an indirect request with WH questions, right? This is uh, when the, the questions contain one of the WH question words like who, where, when, why, how, which, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So in this case, like I, I mentioned before, we keep the same question word, okay? Example, well, here we have Jeff, when does the party start? And then says here, can you ask Jeff when the party starts? The same here we have Sophia, what time should I pick you up? And the indirect request is, could you ask Sophia what time I should, I should pick her up? All of these begin with, could, can you ask and could you ask, okay, all of them. Remember, can is more informal, could is a little bit more formal, okay. Example, I have here, Sylvia, why are you mad? If you want to know why Sylvia is mad and you want to ask some, you want to tell someone to ask her, you would say, could you ask, okay, could you ask, um, and then we would say the name of the person that we want to, to ask, right? So could you ask, in this case, Sylvia? And then we have, we have here, why? If you notice, the why is the same question word that we have here, why? Okay, so we're going to keep it the same. Why, why? So we don't change anything. However, notice that here we have she. Just like I explained on, on Thursday, we use she because, instead of you, because when I say you, I'm actually referring to Sylvia, and Sylvia is a she, okay? So I'm going to, because now I'm not talking directly to Sylvia, but I'm talking as, to Sylvia in a third person, I'm going to be using she, okay? Now, I want you to know something else. Notice that here we have, are you mad? It's in the form of a question. Why are you mad, right? So we have here the auxiliary to be. Here we have subject and then the, the, the adjective. So here, what we're gonna do instead if, is we're gonna, not, we're not gonna be using it in a form of a question. We're gonna be using it in the form of a statement. Instead of saying, are you mad or, she, or is she mad? We're gonna say, she is mad. So we're going to use it not in a formal question, but in form of a statement. 
Okay, so this is this last part is going to be in the form of a statement in the form in the regular form that we use without making any inversion without changing the order or putting any auxiliaries. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, yes. it makes sense. Okay, good. Uh, in case it doesn't make sense, uh, the other ones, you, you're going to see what, the, what I mean with the other ones, especially with number three and four. Okay, so then we have the next one, we have teacher, which exercises are for homework? That's a question. So you say, can you ask? Uh, notice again, this is being a little bit more informal using the can, but I could easily say, could you ask? And the here we're going to say the teacher because the the it's directly it's directed towards the teacher, and then we're going to use the same of uh, the same question word which we're going to use it because it's right here it's the same which which so we don't change anything. Now here, notice exercises are for homework. We can do exercises are for homework. That's it. So it's pretty straightforward. This one, the number one and number two is pretty straightforward. Okay. Now here it changes a tiny bit. Okay, it says here, uh, husband or wife, right? Whichever one. So you can say, husband, what did you want from the store? Or wife, what did you want from the store? Okay. So um, imagine you're talking to somebody at, you know, at home. Um, maybe your, I don't know, your mother, your father, and you say. Could you ask my husband or could you ask my wife? Okay, so we're here is the person that we're directing the question to. And then we continue using the what because over here in the original question, we use the opposite, the, the question word what. Now, here is where it changes because if you notice here, it's in a form of a question. Did you want from the store? Notice we're using the auxiliary did at the beginning, right, in the simple past. But here, if you notice, we don't have, we don't have the word did, we don't use an auxiliary. Why? Because the ending is not in a form of a question. The ending is in the form of a statement, okay? So instead of saying you, we're gonna continue saying he or she because we're talking about my husband, my wife. And notice we don't say, did she, um, or we don't say he did want, we say he wanted or she wanted, okay? So we change the did, the auxiliary, to just the base, the, the, the verb in the, in the simple past. Okay? And we have the complement from the store, okay? Now, here, uh, we're directing the question is for mom and dad, and the question is, Mom and dad, how much money is my trust fund? You guys understand trust fund? No, what is? A trust fund is a account where um, parents usually, they put money into the account for their children. Um, in Spanish, we call it fedecomiso. Yeah, so that's a trust fund. Okay, so you say, mom and dad, how much money is in my trust fund? Okay, so you start with one of the, the beginnings. We're gonna say, can you ask or could you ask? Then we say the person you're asking, this is mom and dad, together, both of them, right? And here we have how much. So therefore over here, we also have how much. Okay. And here it is in my trust fund because we have the verb to be and the verb to be doesn't have an auxiliary, then it really doesn't change, right? So is that my trust fund? So with the verb to be, you really don't have to worry so much because it's gonna be in the same order. It's only with the other verbs, uh, sorry, with the other um, tenses where you use, uh, for example, the auxiliary do, becomes did or does, or the perfect forms where you have have or has, or with the, with the present, sorry, with the continuous form where you use the verb T. Okay? Everything else though, is gonna be, if it's the, just, the, just the regular verb to be, you don't really have to change anything. Does that make sense for everybody? 
Yes, it makes sense. Yeah. Any questions? Yes. No questions? No, okay. teacher. Okay. No, teacher. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do then is the following. Uh, I'm gonna get you guys to practice this. So indirect questions. What I'm gonna ask you to do is the following. Um, okay, I want you right now to think about four messages that you want to give a person, okay? So let's just um, X person, X, you know, X person, like um, it really doesn't matter who it is. Okay, so what I want you to do the first is I want you to write down a message in the state, a step form of statement. Okay, so if right now you could do go ahead and in your notebook write a message that you would like to tell a person. Okay, any message. It could be something like um, uh, you know, Mario. Um, I left uh, the I left the sandwich for you in the refrigerator. Something like that. Anything, anything you wanna you wanna um, say, it, but it has to be a statement. Make sure that it's a statement. Okay, you finished? Yes. So something something simple, it doesn't have to be a complicated sentence, something very simple. Okay. Okay, um, now I want you now to think about an order that you want to give someone. Okay, so it could be somebody at work. It could be, you know, um, your child. It could be like, your, you know, your son or daughter, or it can be your husband or your wife, any order that you think that you would want to give them. It can either be something affirmative or negative, something you want them to do or something you don't want them to do. So it can be like something like, I don't know, um, you know, don't eat, don't eat the sandwich in the fridge because that's mine. No, no, so it's like that. Anything you want. What are we going to do with the sentence? Oh, yeah, uh, you will see in a moment. You will see in a moment. I'm just going, I'm just right now okay. going step by step. Okay, Raphael? Okay. Okay, now what I want you to do now that you have done that, I want you to think about somebody, anybody, any, any, any person, and I want you to think about a question you want to ask them. But the question has to be a yes or no question. Okay, so okay. Um, something like, uh, it, are you going to work this weekend? Or did you hear? Did you hear um, about Maria's promotion? Anything, anything at all. But it has to be a yes or no question. Okay, you ready? Now the last mm -hmm. thing I want you to do is write another question. And this time the question has to be a question with, a, it's an information question. So not a yes or no question, an information question where you ask which, where, when, why, who, et cetera, et cetera. 
for example, I don't know, um, mom um, who dropped you off this morning at the doctor's or, um, you know, teacher, which exercise do I have to do, et cetera. Any question, as long as it has a yes or no, sorry, as long as it's a information question where you use which, where, and all those question words. Just one, one question. Okay, are you guys ready? Everybody's finished? Yes, no? Yes. yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so Rafael uh, was asking, what are we gonna do? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna explain what you're gonna do with the sentences. I'm gonna put you in pairs, okay? I'm gonna put you in groups and I'm gonna be working in pairs. And what I want you to do is I want you to say the message to your partner. And your partner is going to change that sentence, that, that message into an indirect request. So if if you're if, if my partner tells me, for example, a sentence is um, in Mario, the, there is a sandwich in the in the refrigerator for you, then I'm going to then I am going to receive the message and I'm going to change it. I'm going to say, can you tell Mario that there is a, a sandwich in the fridge for him? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. So yes. all you're going to do, you're going to read the message. You're going to read the message and your partner is going to change the message to an indirect request. All right, and you're gonna see if it's if your partner has it correct or not. Okay, got it. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay, so let's say I'm going to get you into breakout rooms. Let's see. Okay, go ahead and join your groups. And what is your number one? What well, your sentence? <laughs> okay. My sentence is um, Fernando are going to the party tonight. Could you ask Fernando if he's going to the party tonight? He yeah. Do you think it's good? I can write it. Yeah, very good. Um, uh, Elisa, could you do me a favor of repeating the question? Um, Sorry, what? Could you repeat the question? Okay. Fernando, are, are going... Okay. 
Fernando, are you going to the party tonight? Sorry. Yeah, okay, good, exactly. Yeah, you, you got it. You, you understood what was the problem there. Yes, make sure that you, you always use the subject. But very good, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. Okay. Yes, Naomi, you did it correct. Yeah, very good. Okay, any questions, girls? Anything that you need help with? In the number one sentence that I have, Karen, I bought pizza for you. It is correct to say, can you tell Karen if she bought pizza for me? Yes, that would okay. be perfect. Yeah, okay. good. Okay. okay, any other okay. questions? Uh, no, as far okay. now, no. No, okay. okay. No, thank you. Ahead. I'm gonna go and join the other groups and help them out then, okay? Okay. 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 Okay, the number two, the order I wrote. Va a ser porque el trabajo y la universidad me me quitan todo el tiempo. Okay. Entonces, además de que ahorita estaba intentando entender. Do you guys have any okay. questions? Anything I can help you with? No, che no teacher, any school me aclaró. How do you say that? Sorry. How do you say me aclarar? Um, clarify. Oh, okay, then it's clarify the activity for me. You, you want me to clarify the activity? Uh, okay. We're gonna. I, I sorry. I I don't understand what. What is your question? I don't have a question. Oh, you don't have a question. Oh, okay. no, no. Okay, sorry. I thought you, you had a question. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Anything that you guys need to ask me? Dennis, do you have any questions? Uh, just uh, one question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, we have like four sentences, right? Or questions. Yeah, yeah four sentences each. In my understanding, we're going to use one of each, right? Yeah. And, and their extra quest, right? Yeah. All right. No, that's it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else um, you guys may just ask for, for help and I'll, and I'll come back. Okay. Right now, I'm just going to go and help the other groups. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Entonces, uh, could you tell? Um, Oh, okay. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. Hi, guys. Do you have questions for me? Yes, teacher. We have a doubt. And, okay. And how we um, can change a sentence with will? For example, Samantha will give us the contra. If we can use an uh, indirect question. Um, okay, let me see if I understand. You want to say the question is like, will Samantha give us the, the contract? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. But it's um, not necessary, it's not, it's not necessary to put will, only Samantha give us the contract. Um, no, because the thing it's is, an, okay. an action that is happening in the future. Yeah, that's true, but that, that really doesn't have to like, it's that what you're saying is true. It does. It is happening in the future, but that really doesn't have to do with the indirect question. Because if you notice, the question is, "Will Samantha do uh, give us a contract?" And the answer is going to be, "Yes, she will," or "No, she won't." So it's a yes or no question. Uh, it's, so if it's it's a really yes or no question, okay. all you got to do is add what. What do we add when we have yes or no questions? So, will it? If, if. If, exactly. If or, yeah. uh -huh. or. Whether. Or whether, exactly. Yeah. That's all. Whether. Everything. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Okay? Yes, okay. Does that answer your question? Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah? Thank okay. You. All right, good. Anything else, just let me know so I will. Okay. Uh, I can come back and help you. Okay. okay. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and help okay. the other okay, person. Teacher. Thank you. Okay, well, many in this case, the, the, the request in the Indian. Hi guys, uh, can I help you with something? Um, if you could check the, the first that I wrote, it would be good. I was thinking about that it would be better if I put something like, could you tell them to bring, right? But I don't know if, if you think that is correct like that or no. Um, I can't see what you wrote. So oh you my want to God. share it? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Just, um, the thing is that uh, I can only see the yeah. chat. It was this. Yeah, okay, good, okay. Could you ask him to bring some bread for lunch since he's at the market? Uh huh. Okay, so that's that's um that's an imperative, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that very good? That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Very good, Raphael. Okay. okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No, actually. No. I think we're working well. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, so that will, um, so I'll just go ahead and, and, and go and visit the other groups. If you guys have any questions, just call me back and I'll come back. Okay, okay. don't worry. All right. Okay. So what it was yours, Al? Staying in home, you know, for example, in the Asian code countries, yeah, mm -hmm. so the pollution was less this year. And probably that makes a balance in the climate. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know with that. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, hi, guys. Do you have any questions you want to ask me? Um, uh, no. No, I, I think that we are fine. <laughs> okay. All right. If yeah. you guys have any questions, just call me. And I'll help, I'll come back and help you. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, so. Kind of food, uh, what kind of food prefer your husband, for example? Okay. Um, and, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt Maricela. Uh, what was the question? Um, what kind of food uh, your husband prefer? Okay, remember, we need an auxiliary there. So, what kind of food? Yes. What's the auxiliary we need? Um, Did you like it? I don't know, Did you? Okay, um, it's not did because it is in the past. This is about the present. What's like? The, what's the present of did? Do. Do or? Does. Or does. does. So in this case, is it is it going to be do or is it going to be does? Okay, teacher. Which one? Do no, teacher. I do. Does. Which one? Yes. Do or does? Which one? Does because he is he. Exactly, yeah. So again, which food? <laughs> no, did, I, I, I don't know where. What kind of food he does prefer? No, not he no. does. Is, does he prefer? You see, remember, uh, Hillary goes first. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Because I make this, the, the indirect request. Uh, can you uh, can you okay, ask that's your the, that's husband? The, but that's the direct question. Okay? Yes. Yes. Look, that's yes. the direct question. What kind yes. of food does he prefer? That's the direct question. Now, yes. the indirect question would be: okay. Could you ask him? Blah 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 blah. I put the chair. Uh, can you ask your husband what what kind of food? 
he prefer, but you tell me <laughs> does. Sure. Right? There you go. Uh, so exactly. can you ask your husband what kind of food does he prefer? No. 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 Because remember, in questions, uh, in indirect questions, we never use the auxiliary. We, we don't use it in a form of a question. We use it in a form of a statement. So okay. Okay, could you ask okay. your husband what kind okay. of food he prefers? Just simply he prefers, not ah. he does prefer. That, that, that. Sorry, teacher. Estaba, estaba correcta porque estaba mala la pregunta directa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. okay. Direct question. Yeah, the problem okay. with the direct question. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nunca auxiliar. Okay. Thank Any you. Any other teacher. questions that you guys have? Anything. Uh, it's okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. All right. We're almost going to go back to the main room. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. No auxiliaries in the indirect, indirect request. Hello, really? Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, oh, uh, I thought the, the t-shirt, hey. Uh, uh, because of, at the the principal the principal group or the the main group no i don't know what what do you say no uh, no no um and we're still in the small groups i just want to know if you guys have any questions oh no teacher we have finished uh, okay wonderful great okay so yeah, i will meet you guys in the main room in a second okay So we're almost finished. Uh, I think we're almost everybody's here. So we've got two more people missing. Okay. So it looks like everybody's back. All right. So what do you guys think about this? Were you able to work on those? Like, were you able to change it from the direct questions to the indirect? questions or better said, better said from the statements and questions to the um, the indirect requests was that a pro any problems that you guys had no teacher everything was good okay good just remember though in the questions we don't use auxiliaries because in indirect requests we never we um we don't put the question in a form of a question it's in the form of a statement okay so it has to be um no like a statement statements don't use auxiliaries right we don't say for example she does work we don't say she does work you say she works right we only use the does if it's a question we only if it, you say for example does she work only then okay all right, oh, okay, uh, so any problems, guys? Anything you wanna ask me? No. No, it's okay? No, teacher, it's okay. Okay, good. All right, guys, we have a few minutes left of class. So um, I'm going to actually use this time to start with the next topic. Uh, from this is actually from section four. So for those of you that are already finished 
section three and I've done already the midterm, you can start now working on section four. And in section four, you will notice that we're talking about stories. And when we're talking about stories, what we normally do is talk about uh, actions that happened in the past. Okay. So there are two types of actions that are normally talked about when we're talking about stories, which are actions that are in the simple past and actions that are in the past progressive or past continuous is the same thing, okay? So, um, I'm going to write here. Actually, I don't remember. I don't remember how it appears in the in the um, in the platform. If it appears as continuous or progressive. Can you guys check for me just so that I, I, I just want to put the right word so I don't confuse you guys. Or better so I confuse the people that are not here. Let's see if I can find it. No, can't find it right now. Sorry. Okay. Well, anyways, I'll just put it. I'll put it as pass because I think I saw progressive. Okay, pass progressive versus simple pass. Okay, so these are these are two structures that, like I said, are very useful if you are talking if you are telling a story specifically if you're telling a story. But we have to know when to use it, when to use the past progressive, when to use the simple past. It's actually not too difficult if you see it from the, the um, point of view of a timeline. So if we have a timeline here, I'm trying to make it as straight as possible. Okay, so we have a timeline. Actually, no, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset. Okay, actually, this one should be like this. Okay, teacher, it's past continuous versus the pa the simple pass. Oh, okay, the they use mm -hmm. past continuous. Okay, all right, thank, mm -hmm. thank you for, for um for checking out for me. Okay, it, like I said, it, continuous and progressive is the same thing. It's just that I wanted to use the same wording because um, some people can get confused, but it's really the same thing. Okay. So, so past continuous or past progressive versus the, the past simple. Okay, so let's imagine that this over here is the present. All right, so over here we have the present, anything that in this moment, anything that happens here is going to be in the present. Okay, so this is the present right here. Okay, so right here I have the present and anything before that is gonna be obviously the past, right? All of this over here is the past. So what happens is if I'm talking about an action that happens over here. Oh. Change the color. 
something that happens here, because it happens in the past, this structure that I use here is going to be in the symbol. Okay, is that pretty simple for everybody? So anything, anything that happens before the present, we're going to be using in the simple past. However, sometimes what happens is that we have an action, okay? That in this action, um, it starts over here. This action starts over here. But what's peculiar about this action is that it continues. It continues for a period of time. Sorry if my, my lines are not as straight as I'd like them to be. <laughs> Sorry about that. I unfortunately have it. I'm not very good at math, so I can't calculate very well. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, yeah. So we have an action over here um, that started in the past as well, but this actually, this action is very peculiar because this action, it continues. If you notice over here, it starts over here and it continues. This action continues all the way here. That is when we're gonna be using the past continuous. So the past continuous is an action that starts in the past and it continues just like the word the word says it it continues for a period of time. Now if you notice I have I have this action continuing up to this moment usually because this action here stops where this action begins. In other words, this action is interrupted by this action. So this action usually stops because it's act this action over here happens. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. To give you an example, um, just because of time, I won't be writing it down. Well, or maybe yeah, I can write it down. Let me go ahead and write that down quickly. So we're going to say, um, I was walking down the street when I heard a loud um, crash. So here we go, we have an action that, we have the action here that, um, that was uh, in progress, it was continuous, and this was that was walking down the street, okay, it was walking. This action was in progress, right? It will continue for a period of time, and then it was interrupted by, hearing the loud crash. In that moment, when I heard the loud crash, I probably stopped walking. In that moment, I stopped walking, and so it interrupted this action here. Okay, now, if you, if you can't identify, if it's really hard for you to identify which one should be in the past continuous and which one should be in the simple past, I'll give you a little clue. Pretty much, the one that has a long, the one that is a long activity is going to be in the past continuous. Remember, the past continuous we use, we created by using was or were, and then the verb plus ing. Okay, was or were, verb 
ing. So this action here is the long action. You walk for a, a, a period of time. You can walk for minutes or even hours, okay? Uh, usually you don't walk for a few seconds. You usually walk for a little bit longer, especially if you're walking down the street. It's not gonna be for a few, a few seconds, it's gonna be longer. But then you hear a loud, a loud crash. That loud crash is probably an action that boom, it just happens immediately. It's not a long action. It's not gonna take you like minutes to hear the long crash. It's probably gonna take you, you know, a few microseconds or at most a few seconds, maybe, you know, one or two seconds that you hear boom, the loud crash. That action, if it's short, it's going to be this one, simple pass. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? OK. All right, so like I said, these two are usually contrasted, this one being the long action that is usually interrupted by, the, by this short action that's going to be in the simple pass. OK? Okay, guys, well, um, I'm going to stop there. Uh, like, and we are going to continue talking about this tomorrow, but I decided to start on the topic. So you know, some of you can, if you'd like, you can start working on that in the platform during today or tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys, anything you want to ask me? Any problems that you are having? Something you want to know? No, teacher. No, teacher. Um, the you. only thing is, I wanted to ask you if we are going to do an exam uh, by the end of the course or something like that. Yes, there is a final exam in the platform as well. So after you complete um, sections four and five, you're going to have the final exam. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, anything else? No, no, thank you. No, thank you. Have a good night. All right, guys, have a wonderful night um, and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Okay, teacher. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night.